I'm going to use the Red Heart Super Saver yarn. It's in size 4 medium. The recommended crochet hook for this yarn is in size 6.5 millimeters, but I'm going to use a smaller crochet hook. So I'll use a crochet hook in size 4.25 millimeters. So I'm going to start by making a slip knot. Then I'll chain four. Now right here through this last chain from the hook, I'll make a slip stitch. So now for row one, I'll chain seven. Then right there through that small loop, I'll make one treble crochet. I'll chain three. Through that same loop, I'll make one treble crochet. Chain three. Through that same small loop, I'll make one treble crochet. I'll chain three. Through that same loop, I'll make one treble crochet. I'll chain three. Through that same loop, I'll make one treble crochet. I'll chain three. Then through that same loop, I'll make one treble crochet. Now that I have seven treble crochets, I'll chain three. Then right there through that fourth chain, I'll make one slip stitch. And this completes row one. So now for row two, again I'll chain seven. Then right here through this three chain space, I'll make one treble crochet. I'll chain three. Through this next treble crochet chain, I'll make one treble crochet. I'll chain three. Through this next three chain space, I'll make one treble crochet. You can see where we are increasing, so now I'll chain three. Then right there through the next treble crochet chain, I'll make one treble crochet. I'll chain three. Through the next three chain space, I'll make one treble crochet. I'll chain three. Through the next treble crochet chain, I'll make one treble crochet. Chain three. Through the next three chain space, one treble crochet. Chain three. Through the next treble crochet chain, one treble crochet. Chain three. Through this three chain space, I'll make one treble crochet. Chain three. Through the next treble crochet chain, one treble crochet. Chain three. Through this three chain space, I'll make one treble crochet. Chain three. Through this next treble crochet chain, one treble crochet. Chain three. Through this three chain space, one treble crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen treble crochets. So now to finish off row two, I'll chain three. Then right here through this fourth chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row two. So now for row three, I'll chain nine. Now right here through this next treble crochet chain, I'll make one treble crochet. Chain five. 
through the next triple crochet chain one triple crochet chain five through the next triple crochet chain one triple crochet chain five through the next triple crochet chain one triple crochet so we repeat this throughout row three so now to finish off row three I'll chain five and right here through this fourth chain I'll make a slip stitch so now for row four I'll chain eleven And right there through that next treble crochet, I'll make one treble crochet. I'll chain seven. Through the next treble crochet chain, I'll make one treble crochet. Chain seven. Through the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. Chain seven. Through the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. So we repeat this throughout row four. So to finish up row four, I'll chain seven then right here through this fourth chain I'll make a slip stitch and this completes row four now for row five I'll chain 13 And right there through that next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. I'll chain nine. Through the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. I'll chain nine. And right there through the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. I'll chain nine. Through the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. So I'll repeat this throughout row five. So now to finish up row five, I'll chain nine. Then right here through this fourth chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row five. So now for row six, I'll chain 15. Then right there through the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. Now I'll chain 11. Then through the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. I'll chain 11. Then through the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. 
so I'll repeat this throughout row 6. So now to finish off row 6, I'll chain 11. And right here through this fourth chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 6. Now for row 7, I will chain 17. Then right there through that next triple crochet, I will make one triple crochet. Now I will chain 13. Then through the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. I'll chain 13. Then through the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. So I will repeat this throughout row 7. So now to finish up row 7, I will chain 13. Then right here to this fourth chain, I will make one slip stitch. So this completes row 7. So now for row 8, I will chain 19. Then right there to the next triple crochet chain, I will make one triple crochet. I'll chain 15. Then through the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. I'll chain 15. Now, in the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. So I'll repeat this throughout row 8. So now to finish off row 8, I'll chain 15. And right there through that fourth chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 8. So now for row 9, I'll chain 21. Then through the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. I'll chain 17. Then through the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. I'll chain 17.
Then through the next triple crochet chain I'll make one triple crochet. So I'll repeat this throughout row 9. So now to finish up row 9 I'll chain 17 Then right there through that fourth chain, I'll make a slip stitch. And this completes row 9. So now for row 10, I'll chain 23. Then right there, through the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. I'll chain 19. Then right there, through that next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. I'll chain 19. Then through that next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. So I will repeat this throughout row 10. So now to finish up row 10, I will chain 19. Then right there through that fourth chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 10. So now for row 11, I'll start by chaining 25. Then right there through that next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. I'll chain 21. Then through that next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. I'll chain 21. Then through that next triple crochet chain, I'll make one triple crochet. So I'll repeat this throughout row 11. So now to finish off row 11, I'll chain 21. Then right there through that fourth chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 11. So now for row 12, I will chain 27.
And through the next treble crochet chain, I'll make one treble crochet. I'll chain 23 Then through the next treble crochet chain I'll make one treble crochet I'll chain 23 Then through the next treble crochet chain I'll make one treble crochet So I'll repeat this throughout row 12. So now to finish up row 12, I'll chain 23. Then right here to this fourth chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 12. And now for row 13, I'm going to start by chaining 31. And right there through the treble crochet chain, we'll make a double treble crochet. So you have to wrap the yarn around the hook three times instead of twice. Yeah. So from now on, we'll be making double treble crochets instead of treble. And now I'm going to chain 26. So now through the next treble crochet chain, I'll make one double treble. Again, I'll chain 26. And now through the next treble crochet chain, I'll make one double treble. So we'll repeat this throughout row 13. So now to finish off row 13, I'll chain 26. make a slip stitch right here through this fifth chain. And this completes row 13. Now for row 14, I will chain 33. And now right here through this next double treble chain, I'll make one double treble. I'll chain 28.
Right there to that next double trouble chain, I'll make one double trouble. I'll chain 28. Right there to the next double trouble chain, I'll make one double trouble. So we'll repeat this throughout row 14. So we'll repeat this until we have 21 rows in total. You can make even more rows if you like to. So now I'll show you how I made these chains through this double trouble crochets. So I made a slip knot then right here through this double trouble chain I'll chain 30 So now that I've chained 30, I'll just cut this yarn and then I'll weave these ends in but only the ones that are close to the crochet web. We won't mess with these. You know, you can trim them a little bit but you don't have to weave them. So don't make these last chains in the same size. Somewhere you can chain 30, somewhere 20, somewhere 25, so just mismatch them like that because I think it will look more realistic and I think it will look much better than it would have if we, you know, if we had all the same amount of chains. So after I finished off this uh, spider web, I just pin it up right here in the co one of the corners in my living room. And the spider is actually store bought, so... And also, I don't have a pattern for this video, guys. I actually just started making this separate for me. I just want to try it and say, you know, let me see how it turns out. The one that you see right there on the wall is the one that I made for the first time. And the second one is the one that I actually just started to make, uh, you know, for the video tutorial. And I am actually quite impressed. I really, really like this spider web. Last year I did one, but it was just with a yarn. I was playing around with my son and uh, it looked kind of decent, but it did not look nowhere as near as good as this one. We all love this one. It just looks much better. And especially since it's in the, in the corner. So I, I used these clear push-up pins. I couldn't find the ones I used last year. They were black and they looked much better. But this one seemed to work too. Because they are clear, they are blending up with the wall. I hope you guys like this video and thank you so much for watching.